Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 21. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Apocalypse Ranger series. Uh, so let's see. What have I done off camera since the last uh, time, uh, since the last episode? So I've got everything in here uh, cleaned up and organized. I still need to uh, do some repairing on the roof. I did repair this hole in the wall here, and we'll do some painting because this is probably going to be our permanent um, forward operating base for the rest of this series. So we'll probably paint it too and make it look really good in here. And um, so let's see, we got the two forges here and they're cranking up uh, or um, smelting rather metal or iron, whatever. Got to get that more of that. Uh, I have the one cement mixer there. I'll put the second uh, cement mixer here. And uh, I got all the storage up here. So this is organic resources, wood, stone, clay, you know, anything related to that. Metal items, clothing and armor, parts, tools and weapons, ammunition, mods and fuel, and then a miscellaneous bin there. We got the chem bench here, and I'm probably going to leave this storage chest here, and this we can use that for for vendor uh, as a vendor chest. But you know, the more I think about it, though, we should probably make a big chest like this, just because it's got so many more slots in it than these do. And maybe put it up a little higher or something. Uh, so that's the bulk. Uh, aside from the repairs and the painting, that's the bulk of the work that I'm planning on doing here in the workshop, at least for now. Uh, let's see. We got a land claim block set up. And I put that land claim block right about here. And it basically covers this eastern side of the lot. But as you can see, it doesn't fully cover uh, this side. That's not necessarily a problem because... Uh, you know, once we get everything repaired and fixed up over here, I'm not really going to spend a whole lot of time over here anyway. Uh, I know I can go into the config file and increase the range of the land claim block. So if it uh, turns out to be needful to do that, I will, I'll, I'll do that. But, it, but at this point, I'm not really too worried about it. We'll just see how it goes. I'm probably also going to bury this too. Um, so, you know, uh, right now I just wanted to get it in the right spot. Uh, you know, to cover the part of the base that we're going to use. And then later on, I'll, I'll dig it down underground and then hide it, hide it there. Uh, I set up three, my three um, dew collectors over here. So those are collecting water and we'll probably do more of these as well. In fact, I might do another three and have a total of six. Most of the water from that, of course, we will use for crafting. Haven't done anything in here yet. We do need to get a bed going, however. Um, so you know what I think I'll do for that is, why don't we just temporarily, excuse me, ZTF, why don't we temporarily just make ourselves a, a bedroll? So we'll grab some, no, not feathers. So we'll grab some grass. And this is just for our spawn point. And later on, I'll, I'll either make or if I can't make it, I don't think I can actually make a bed. Let's let's look at this for a second. So if we go to bed, we can make a king size bed or the bedroll itself. But to my knowledge, there's no that you can't craft any of the other types of beds in the game, like the beds that are in the bunkhouse. Metal furniture, wood furniture. I think I already looked at this, but let's just Let's just confirm that. Yeah, so these are just benches and pallets and dressers and wood desks and that sort of thing. Radiators, filing cabinets, desks, shelves. So I'll just open up the creative menu later on and spawn in. Uh, what, what I'll do is I'll, I'll take out... Uh, maybe we'll take this bunk, bunk out and then we'll spawn in a new bunk to replace it. And that, that will be our bed. I'm just going to temporarily place it right there so we have a spawn point, and then I'll worry about making that more permanent later on. Very good. Okay, so in this episode, um, ZTF is going to assist us in clearing um, the CC. And we talked about that in the last episode. The CC is this military facility right here, I think. That doesn't look right, though. Is that the right one? No. It's... I think it's right here. We flew... 
we flew by it, but we didn't fl fly over it. So let's put the waypoint there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have ZTF assist me in clearing that out more for role play purposes. I don't need him to, but it'll be kind of fun. And then I'm probably going to leave this chopper there at the CC. And I I'm not going to use it a lot, but if we need to borrow it for something that makes sense in our role play, um, you know, because it did make sense for Alpha 6 to loan this to us to move because it's in his best interest that I get over here and get the, the CC going, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but eventually I'll probably legitimately earn this, you know, just through the normal game play mechanics and then we'll have it. But for the time being, you know, rather than delete it, I'm just going to leave it over at the CC and I won't be using it on a day to day basis. OK, so that being said, let's hop in here and lift off. I do need to make sure that I get to. Oh, I forgot to turn the bounds off on that. I do need to make sure that I get to the trader before the end of the day because I I definitely want to respec. Um, it is a royal royal pain in the ass to you know do anything at all with mining tools or harvesting tools and not have any minor 69er. <laughs> So, so we just need to make sure we get into town and go go get a, a learning elixir from one of the traders before they close at the end of this in-game day. So yeah, ZTF and I will go over here uh, to the new CC location and we'll get it cleared, and then we'll just you like I said we'll keep the chopper parked over here, and ZTF will probably stay stationed here. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do with him, you know, from the role-playing perspective because. You know he's he's a pilot and his main job is to to deliver supplies into the into the quarantine zone you know like he's been doing for us but we have to assume he does that for other you know other uh troops that are doing something similar to what we're doing too i guess i don't know <laughs> just making all this crap up so but i in in the in actuality you know what i'm gonna do with the NPC mod and with ZTF is, you know, the, the role play story goes at, at present that we will, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to focus on controlling this chopper and talk to you guys at the same time. Um, this is a pretty decent spot for it. I think ZTF's already taken somebody out. Um, all right, what the hell was I saying? I completely lost my train of thought. We were talking about what, to, oh yeah, what to do with the NPC mods. So basically Alpha 6 said that once we get this command center um, up and running and they can get troops down here, then he would provide a fire team for us, uh, which will be three, basically three of these NPCs. Because a fire team, I believe a fire team is up to four soldiers. And then a squad is like two fire teams. I know there's some variation in that, but in in our for our purposes, a fire team is going to be a three additional soldiers, including myself. So four of us um, that can start uh, assisting us, you know, with with clearing the uh, the environment, that sort of thing. Um, so, but we're not there yet because we have to first clear this place. We have to fix it up. We got to get it ready for them, you know, for alpha six and us you know um oh my god i am having so much trouble thinking today <laughs> i'm not even drunk either it's actually morning maybe that's why <laughs> get it ready to go get the get the get it stationed or, or manned or however you want to say that and then from there uh we can start playing some more with with npcs so i know it i know <laughs> he's going dude what the hell's the matter with your head um so until that happens um ztf himself you know, his job is not to 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 be part of our fire team. His job is to be, you know, flying and dropping supplies into the quarantine zone. So he's he's not going to stay with us after after this. Uh, but we'll still have radio conversations with him, and maybe we'll even see him in person again later on. All right, ZTF. Well, right now our job is to clear this place. So let's just go in here and take everybody out. Look at him go, man. <laughs> I think I think these guys can can be killed. Is there a way I can see what his health is? 
Weapon menu, never mind. Maybe they can't, I don't know. Patrol around me, follow me, stay where I'm standing, guard. Patrol your coded route. I see, I haven't, I haven't read into how that works. I have to do a little more research on, you know, this patrol code business. Um, but he will, he'll crouch with me and I can tell him if I go into, for example, I'm going to actually have to go into the creative menu for a second, I think. All right. So if I go into here and then there's supposed to be, yeah, uh, there's these commands here. What does this do? Infected in, is infected. NPC schematic. Um, I think I can infect one of these guys with this, turn them into a zombie, in other words, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that means. Like I said, I haven't completely read through all the instructions on this mod. Sphere, pick up NPC. Um, but these things here, I can actually put these on my, my hotbar and use them to control these guys. I don't like the way this is implemented, though, and maybe there isn't an easier way to do it, but it, because it takes up three of my my hotbar slots. Let's put that down out here. But what I can do is go mode. Full control. Okay, so if you look in the lower left-hand corner of my screen now, um, it says F for full control. Then if I go... Hunting. Hunting mode. Then it shows H in the lower left-hand corner. Full control. So it just toggles between those two. So hunting kind of gives them their head and lets them... Hunting. Uh, what that means, is, I think, is they'll just they'll just shoot at anybody, uh, any enemy that they come across. But if it's on full control... Full control. Then I don't think he'll shoot at anybody until either I shoot at somebody or I get attacked, meaning that I actually have to take damage. So we would want this on full control if we wanted, you know, them to, to, to remain stealthy and that sort of thing. So we'll, we'll play around with that in, um, you know, when, when we actually start doing these. And then if these guys are in the, in the middle of doing something and I want them to stop, halt. I just, you know, do halt. And that basically means whatever they're doing, just stop. And you can see now in the lower left-hand corner, I've got the red, you know, talk to the hand kind of thing. Resume. And then that puts them back to where they were. And I think help... I guess if they're off doing something else and you need them to come to you directly, I think that's what that means. So it's kind of cool, but here again, I, I don't like, I don't like that these take up a hotbar slot. Maybe there's a way you can assign a hotkey to them. That would be the way to really do this. Let me look here. Um, if we go to miscellaneous, to, 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 to not edit mode global. I don't see anything in here that's jumping out at me that shows how I could assign a hotkey, but there may be a way to do it like in a config file. Yeah, I don't know. I, I did watch, um, there's, there's a couple of videos on the NPC mod page, and the guy that was demonstrating that, uh, he was using these toolbar commands. I don't remember him saying or showing that you could do a hotkey, but that doesn't mean you can't. I'm, maybe he did, and I just wasn't paying attention. Okay, anyway, I know we're digressing a little bit here, but I wanted to just kind of show you a little bit of this NPC mod. You know, the one that I probably what I would use the most is this mode option. Um, so let's keep these in our inventory, but let's not put them on the toolbar. Okay, so right now, ZTF is in full control, which should mean he won't attack anybody until either I attack them or they damage me so let's just let's just try that here and see how things go man i have to say though i love that max out lucky looter just for you know the ability to to open stuff so quickly so when we respec i might see if i can arrange arrange it so that we can keep that that's just wonderful saves so much time uh all right so we cleared that tower Let's go over here. There's a Darlene. Okay, see, see, so he's not attacking her until she attacks. <laughs> the 
Why is he going over there? Okay. So, I mean, that's, that's actually pretty cool. You know, um, that little, it, it's a very, very simple, but I think effective. I mean, I shouldn't say that until I actually work with it a little more of, you know, having these guys come with you, but not just go batshit crazy on everything. So he shouldn't attack this guy until he attacks me. Now he should attack. Except for I think he's having, having trouble. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can give the NPCs a silenced weapon or not. Um, so that's another thing I'll have to, to look into. Okay, we'll take all that. And we're not we're not actually, you know, cleaning cleaning the place up or doing anything like that today. We're just here to to clear it. Okay, now what I was told about this is if we have the book that we can get acid from these things, I don't know if we do or not. I gotta remember how to do this. That's probably wasteland treasures, right? Yeah. Adds a chance to harvest acid from cars and medical equipment. So I think what we do is we open it, but we don't loot it. Then we break it. And yeah, look at that. In the lower right hand corner, we got an acid. And then we can still get the loot from this. Okay. That seems. I, I want to say, I mean, I don't know this for sure, but I want to say that that's not really what maybe the fun pimps intended. But maybe it is. I don't know. But that's how you do that. So I am going to start collecting more acid. I have quite a bit of it already, but I'm going to keep collecting it because... Ah, oh shit. I'm infected and I don't have anything on me to deal with it. Well, that sucks. We'll figure it out. I, I got antibiotics back at the base and honey and stuff. So I'm not too worried about it. But... Uh, you know, there's a lot, a lot of things that use acid. I always thought it was mostly just used to make like tires and chem benches and that sort of thing. But you need it for like awesome sauce and you know for other uh, stuff like that. So we're gonna start collecting it more than I have been. Does the same thing apply with these? I don't know. We'll keep trying that and see. That's a lot of good stuff there. There we go. We got uh, an acid out of that. Uh, let's just get rid of that. We'll take the pill. Okay. All right, ZTF. Let's go get the bad guy out of here. I don't even have my AP rounds on me. Okay, so that's clear. Did we look in here? I don't remember if we did or not. I'm going to say no because there's a Zeke in here and the door is open. Or not open. Nice football helmet. Yeah, yeah, we gotta drop a few things off here. Oh, look at that. We got an antibiotic. Fantastic. I just, I just now noticed that. You guys are probably going, hey dude, you got an antibiotic. I'm just gonna put the mode thing in here. We don't really need the impact driver or the nail gun for today. So let's put those away too. Yeah, I like I like the way they implemented that. It might be a little more clunky when you have multiple NPCs, but we'll see how that goes. Okay. As usual, because we're gonna roleplay, you know, fixing this place up, I don't I don't wanna I wanna leave anything that 
will not be out of place in the final setup. Stuff like this, you know, we'll, we'll definitely clean up, though. Um, did I leave something else in here? Wait a minute, didn't we destroy this? I'm confused. I could have sworn we destroyed that, but maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, let's go through here. I think that's a soldier Zeke over that way. Yeah, it's a feral. Let's fight him out here. CTF. Shoot that guy. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. We'll read this. I actually don't want that stuff. Um, we can already make the better version of these, so we might as well keep those and sell them. Nothing in here. There's a lootable footlocker. None of those are lootable. This is. Ooh, nice green pistol. We'll take that. I don't think I have my uh, Kniffy skills either at the moment because we respect for the Horde Knight, so we'll have to fix that since that is our main melee weapon. No acid out of that deal. Okay, so that clears that building. Uh, let's go through this one next. I think there's some zombadoodles in the in the ceiling in here. It's been a while since I've actually done this POI. Yeah, we're definitely keeping Max out Lucky Looter. This is just too good, man. <laughs> How quickly he opens this stuff. Uh, we're finished with this. So we can sell for 22 if we use it. How much XP do we get? 165. I mean, I'll probably just eat those for the XP. Not because we get a ton of XP, but because 22 coin is not necessarily worth taking up an inventory slot. With those, you know. What the hell? Is that just me stepping on stuff? Probably. Nice storeroom back here. Okay, let's see what's in all of these. Very nice. Let's drink this right now. Me and our dude's hungry, so we'll throw down a couple of chili dogs. Also, consume that one too. All right, is there anything else up here besides just cardboard? I don't think so. Okay, we got all these cupboards looted. All right, let's go in here, ZTF. Yeah, I gotta get my AP ammo back in this pistol. We did I was going to say. My understanding is, um, you know, the guys that have done the NPC mod, which is a, a conglomerate of several modders, um, have been working on it since uh, Alpha 16. Uh, so bravo, you know, uh, bravo. <laughs> well, yeah, bravo. Kudos is what I was trying to say to them for, for working on that. 
uh, it seems to be working pretty darn good, all, all things considered. Um, I'm going to hold off on that stuff for now. Uh, it's good to know, though, that we actually have a vending machine here, so we'll have to keep that in mind. At least a, a beverage vending machine. Okay, let's see if we can get another acid here. Nope, no acid. Okay, I think that clears this room. I thought there were zombos in the ceiling of this place. If there were, you you know, they probably would have triggered by now. So maybe not. Or maybe there are, but there just wasn't. The RNG didn't put them there this time. I don't know. Okay, let's do the, the workshop next. Out of space again. You know what? Let's, uh, we should probably be wearing our luckies too. Just get a little extra. No room for that. All right, let me go drop some stuff off. There were Zeke's up on these shelves here, but they're hiding behind the army trucks. Uh, or... Maybe they're up above, perhaps? There we go. Uh, you know what, too? We don't... I don't think we have Sneaky Sneak enabled at the moment either because of our respec I don't even think I hit him those first time okay let's check the loot There's a trash down there. Let's just see what's in it. Just some iron. Check the trucks. What's that? Chicken? Uh, we don't actually need to eat right now, so we'll hang on to it. Tools digest and yellow battery. We'll sell that. Don't see anything else up that way. Some blueberries and pistol parts. Good combination. Why? I have no idea. It just is. Just have to take my word for it. I'll just have to take my word for it, because I don't know why. Vehicles. Uh, another box up here, and another box up here, and looks like a trash. Okay, so I think that loots everything in here. This just goes outside. We got some concrete and stuff there for later. Okay, ZTF. You ready for the main building? Here, I'm going to do one more drop off real quick. All right, here we go. Can't really get to his head from here. Water. 
some corn. Let's see if we can get an acid. Nope, no acid. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Nice. All right, so I guess that's it for in here. Let's go in this hallway. Does this work? No, it doesn't. Okay. We'll take it apart then for parts later. Um, the basement is where the fat loots are. Let's go clear the upstairs first. There's a guy over there. Popped him. Armor magazine. None of that stuff is lootable, but the coffee is. Okay, I think that is it for up here. Uh, there might be a vulture up here, I'm not sure. Don't remember. There's a plug. Can we make that jump? Piss off, Vulture. Yeah, not to worry about cleaning all that trash up for now. Okay, so that takes care of the upper floor. Let's go down. <clears throat> ZTF, you're on the wrong side of the door. There's a bag over there. That's where the fat loots are. That's just a corpse. Okay. Oh wow, we can we can do that? I didn't know the player could go in under a one block space while crouched. Really? Huh. I thought I... Wait a second. Really? Okay, hold on. Oh, I was gonna... I don't have any blocks on here. Let's try... Since we're over here anyways. Do I have any blocks in here? No. All right. Well, whatever. I was going to do a, a little test and see if if we actually can. Because I thought I tried that in Alpha 21 and it didn't work. But it sure seems to work here. Hmm. Maybe it's because that's a door. I don't know. All right. So I think we might have some Zeeks in here. Nope. Not. We gotta go all the way back to this little secret passage here. Uh, 
And then we break this out. And all the Zeeks are going to be in that area there. Okay, let's just wake them up. Shit, we got infected again? When did that happen? No, I think that's a treated... <coughs> Excuse me, that's treated. <coughs> so it's going down. <clears throat> Get out of the way. Out of the way. What the hell, man? Oh, it's this pipe. Um, okay, we don't have any eye candy, so let's just get the loot in here real quick. Bow magazine. I don't have any lockpicks, so I'm going to have to break that open. Decent amount of ammo. Uh, don't think there's anything back in there. All right, let's just break this open real quick. Vehicle magazine. I could have used those. Okay. Um, there's also a munitions box here that I missed. Oh, nice. Motor. Small motor tool tank. Okay, we got to get cruising here if we're going to get to the trader before nighttime. So, But that clears this place here. So, uh, like I said, we're going to... He still gets stuck there. How interesting. We're going to leave the bird here. And uh, ZTF... We're just going to assume ZTF jumps in the chopper and takes off. Um, and you know resumes his duties and like I said we will we'll bring ZTF back later so ZTF thank you very much for all your help really appreciate it I know you got to get back to your normal duties and um, we'll see you when we see you we'll talk to you on the radio here in, in the next few days okay so what we got to do is go to command menu stay turn stay, stay 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 I don't know how to it, how to permanently dismiss these guys. Patrol, follow, stay. Guard. There's your patrol. Okay, well, I can tell him to just patrol around here. And we'll just have to pretend that this is now, this will be one of the new soldiers that will be patrolling around the base and it's no longer ZTF. <laughs> okay. All right, so yeah, we got to get to town and get get to Trader Hugh ASAP. We, I think we'll be able to make it. Hey, he's not following us, is he? He shouldn't be. I don't think he is. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the Trader. Yeah, let's let's just do a Sugar Butts. I'm not going to do an Awesome Sauce just for the Elixir <coughs> purchase. That must be another NPC that that the mod, because what the mod will do is that, that it places these NPCs in the world and then you can go up to them and hire them. That doesn't sound like, um, that sounds like an M60 anyways and not the assault rifle. Okay, so let's eat this. We've got our stow again. We make sure we have our magnum equipped. Okay. I want, <clears throat> excuse me, to purchase from you the learning elixir for forty-eight hundred. Uh, that's all you're gonna buy. I'll let you show yourself out. I hear a mountain lion around here somewhere. Um, what else do you have in here? I want that. I've got a decent amount of lamb rations, so let's buy the tuna, though, because we can make a tuna, you know, tuna gravy, something or other. Okay, I'll see you guys back at... Yeah, see, that's a new soldier, so we might uh, 
hire them later. How much how much does it cost to hire you, by the way? Oh, only 3,500 dukes. Okay. So, yeah, we'll uh we'll eventually get three of those guys to accompany us, you know, pretty much almost all the time. All right, guys. We are back at the base and sitting on our well-worn couch in front of the fire. Nice and cozy here. While night time descends upon us. And uh, what we're going to do before we let you go in this episode is we're going to do our respects. So let's go to here and use this. Let's go, boys. have been reset. Okay. Um. So let's go here. Obviously, we want to max out agility. So that's our main build. We want to max out archery. Gunslinger. Deep cuts. I'm going to hold off on whirlwind and I'll explain why here in a little bit. Run and gun. Light armor. Parkour. Hidden strike. From the shadows. Okay. I've decided not to do whirlwind because... We don't use the knife that much anymore. And uh, I just don't think it's worth three points to be able to swing the knife 25% faster. I mean, it's already still... That's pretty darn fast. You know, without any whirlwind at all. So, I, and it doesn't do anything other than give us more speed. So, I think we're going to save those three points for something else. All right, now uh, we're going to go to strength and we're going to bring this up to nine because we have the cigar. Actually, you know what? Let's actually shit. I should have I should have uh, brought it up to six for an effective seven. I just blew an extra point that I didn't actually need to do because we only needed to get it to seven to get 69er and mother load back up to five um we we don't you know what we don't need master chef at all the only thing that's going to do for us is we're going to be able to cook faster and use less ingredients well that's 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 useful now i'm not worried too much about the cooking faster part because you know we could just throw a batch of stuff in and then let it go and come back later but we're using less ingredients that's useful 40% less ingredients. Okay, let's come back to this. Um, I originally was going to say we don't need it because we have already read all the magazines, but there's other, you know, reasons to get it. There's nothing else in strength, though, that we want. Okay, let's go to perception next. And I was just absolutely loving salvage, uh, or not, I'm sorry, lucky looter, which only requires perception level 7. Um, mostly not because we get better loot. Well, I mean, that too, of course, but the faster looting was just amazing. Plus, we want uh, demolitions as high as we can get it. We want Deadeye. Eventually, we want Deadeye, and we want Penetrator and Salvage Operations. So there's a lot of things in Perception that we want. But for now, let's just bring this up to 7. It still leaves us 50 points. Okay, so we want Lucky all the way up. We want... Demolitions up to four. We want uh, Penetrator up to three. Salvage Ops. Oh, good. We can actually max out Salvage Ops. Very good. I'm not really, I don't really <clears throat> have any trouble with treasure hunter. Find 30% more items in buried treasure. I guess it would give us more stuff, but that's, you know, that's just an occasional thing. I just don't see the point in putting points into that. Uh, at least not in single player. Okay, so let's see. That gives us, we still have 33 points to spend. I would like to, let's put at least one point into Deadeye, and we will eventually get that up higher. But I want to focus on a little bit of, well, yeah, see, we got intellect. We really need to get Grease Monkey back up again so we can keep getting those magazines so we can eventually get to 
the really good um, vehicles, right? So, what do we need for Grease Monkey 4? We need Intellect Level 8. Since we wear our nerdy glasses frequently, we can get an effective point. So, if we just take Intellect to... 7 we have an effective 8 which then means we can bring grease Mon monkey up to 4 we definitely want physician but only up to 3 because I screwed that point up last time so that gives us 17 points um let's see this uses this is faster crafting and less materials so that is super useful as well Oh, Daring Adventurer. Yeah, we have this maxed out. Uh, well, at least we'll, we'll keep it at 3 because this requires intellect to 10. I, I, I am going to want to max that out again too. So we'll, we'll eventually get intellect up to 9 for an effective 10. But we need to pay a little bit of attention to the Fortitude Tree as well. Specifically, Pain Tolerance... I'm going to go ahead and do a living off the land. Uh, we want pain tolerance and healing factor. I'm not going to take cardio. I took that in our initial build because we were still on foot in the early game, but that just doesn't matter because, you know, whenever we travel, we're going to be in a vehicle. <clears throat> so I don't care about that. Um, I don't really care either about machine gunner at this point until we can really throw some points into it and or we come across like a really high level M60. To where it would make sense to do it but it doesn't make sense to do it right now so we have 11 points um i'd like to get pain tolerance if we could get pain tolerance up to three um that would require fortitude five so Okay, so we can get five up to five with only spending one point. Let's get pain tolerance then up to three. Healing factor up to three. That leaves us with three points left. What does the third point in this give us? Triple. That would be useful. Um, because I, I now that we have a permanent you know location, I want to plant a farm. So we could do that. Let's go back to intellect. Do, 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 do. Uh, right, this. I, I think we should put some points into advanced engineering, mostly because of the reduction in material cost. It took me forever to make enough steel. You know, for the horde knight. So speed, you know, speeding that process up and using less material is really going to be beneficial. So I think that's what we'll do. So we are now finished with this episode. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. Catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.